It has been a very long time since we last watched a space plane travel into space. However, the wait may soon come to an end because the next generation space plane, Dream Chaser, is making steady progress toward its debut mission. So, how far has Dream Chaser advanced, and can this vehicle challenge the long-standing dominance of SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft? Let's explore the answers in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The most recent and significant update concerns a modification to Dream Chaser contract with NASA. Instead of requiring seven cargo missions to the ISS, NASA has revised the agreement so that Dream Chaser will first complete a free flight demonstration. If that demonstration proves successful, NASA will then have the option to order resupply missions to the station. According to current planning, this free flight demonstration, which will essentially serve as Dream Chaser's debut mission, is scheduled for late 2026. The change represents a clear setback in Dream Chaser's race against other operational spacecraft. It shifts its timeline further into the future while vehicles such as SpaceX's Dragon continue to conduct regular missions. In light of this shift, Sierra Space's top priority is to finalize all necessary preparations and ensure that Dream Chaser is fully ready once the schedule opens. Interestingly, the company appears to be making steady progress toward this goal. In a recent announcement on X, the company stated Dream Chaser has successfully completed a series of critical pre-flight tests at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, marking continued progress toward its first free flyer mission. Sierra Space followed up with additional details. According to the company, Dream Chaser recently completed electromagnetic interference and electromagnetic compatibility testing inside NASA's Space Systems Processing Facility. These evaluations confirmed the vehicle's ability to operate reliably in the expected electromagnetic conditions during different phases of a mission. In simple terms, this test ensured that Dream Chaser's onboard systems will function correctly in the harsh and fluctuating electromagnetic environment of space. Beyond this major test, Dream Chaser also completed several other important milestones. One was a tow test conducted at Kennedy Space Center and Space Florida's launch and landing facility. For this trial, a Freightliner Cascadia truck provided by Daimler Truck North America towed the space plane at high speeds. The purpose was to simulate landing conditions and validate the autonomous navigation parameters the vehicle will rely on during runway touchdowns. This trial demonstrated Dream Chaser's readiness for the dynamic and demanding moments that occur during a landing sequence. The company also reported another major achievement. Dream Chaser successfully demonstrated the ability to receive telemetry and distribute commands between the spacecraft and mission control in Louisville, Colorado using NASA's Tracking and Data Relay satellite system. This accomplishment showed that Dream Chaser is capable of real-time communication and command operations during flight. Effective communication links are fundamental to both safety and mission success, making this a, a vital testing benchmark. To conclude the test campaign, to conclude the test campaign, Sierra Space performed a post-landing recovery rehearsal. This exercise demonstrated the safety of the vehicle's systems after landing and confirmed that teams could quickly access sensitive or time-critical payloads. Recovery efficiency is particularly important for missions involving scientific samples or equipment that must be handled immediately after returning to Earth. From all these accomplishments, it's clear that Dream Chaser continues to demonstrate encouraging progress. Its environmental testing campaign last year concluded successfully, and its current phase of pre-flight testing appears to be moving forward smoothly. Sierra Space has announced that Dream Chaser will undergo its final round of acoustic testing in December of 2025. The company also indicated that additional modifications for national security applications may be performed in Colorado. These upgrades are intended to expand Dream Chaser's mission flexibility and showcase its potential value for national defense activities. Overall, Dream Chaser appears closer to readiness than at any point in its development history. If momentum continues, it could potentially be prepared for launch earlier than expected. Considering the delays the program has faced in the past, this forward momentum is an encouraging sign. So do you believe Dream Chaser is poised for a breakthrough in the years ahead? Let me know with a yes or a no in the comment section down below. For me, Dream Chaser's prospects are broader and more promising than they've ever been. The landscape around it is shifting in meaningful ways, and many of its competitors are facing difficulties that open 
the door for a new contender to rise. Among these competitors, Boeing's Starliner stands out as the most challenged. Starliner has suffered repeated delays, and based on the latest updates, it appears that the spacecraft will not be able to fulfill the original plan of launching six crewed missions under the 2014 contract. Instead, it will be limited to four missions. The first of these will be uncrewed, and the remaining missions will only move forward if NASA determines that the vehicle's reliability meets acceptable thresholds. This situation mirrors the recent contract modification for Dream Chaser, but the nature of the challenges is very different. Dream Chaser is delayed, but its issues are tied to development progress, not operational failures. Starliner, by comparison, has struggled during official missions and tests, which has deeply affected confidence in the program. These contrasting trajectories make Dream Chaser's position considerably stronger than Starliner's at this point. What makes Dream Chaser even more notable is its steady flow of positive test results. The vehicle has demonstrated consistent, successful performance throughout its recent trials. Meanwhile, Starliner's history includes several significant failures across different phases of testing, which contributed to years of delays and uncertainty. This difference in momentum and performance makes Dream Chaser appear much more reliable and better positioned for future missions. Starliner is not the only competitor facing difficulties. Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft, long relied upon for ISS cargo missions, has encountered reliability concerns after the NG-22 spacecraft was damaged during transportation. Although the issue was resolved in time for the NG-23 launch, the incident still highlighted vulnerabilities. Since Dream Chaser's early missions will focus on cargo delivery, this creates a timely opportunity opportunity for the space plane to demonstrate its strengths and potentially secure a more substantial share of ISS resupply missions. Looking internationally, other spacecraft programs are also encountering disruptions. China's Shenzhou-20 mission experienced problems that caused noticeable delays for its crewed operations. In Russia, while their spacecraft remained functional, a major launch pad suffered heavy damage, preventing near-term launches. Even though these challenges occur outside the U.S., they still create secondary opportunities for Dream Chaser. If global partners need supplemental support or emergency alternatives, Dream Chaser could position itself as a dependable option. This leaves SpaceX's Dragon as the only vehicle currently operating smoothly. Dragon's reliability is a credit to SpaceX, but it also creates a strategic imbalance. If NASA becomes too dependent on Dragon, it risks allowing a monopoly to form. Agencies inherently prefer to maintain multiple options for crew and cargo operations to ensure flexibility redundancy, and cost competitiveness. This dynamic alone establishes a natural incentive for NASA to nurture Dream Chaser as a viable second system. If the space plane proves capable, it could rapidly rise to the position directly behind Dragon. Beyond the weaknesses of its competitors, Dream Chaser benefits from its own strong design advantages. The vehicle, shaped like a small lifting body aircraft, operates in a fundamentally different manner from traditional capsules. Sierra Space plans to complement it with the Shooting Star cargo module, which will enhance payload capacity and increase mission flexibility. Dream Chaser's interior volume may also ultimately allow more astronauts per mission compared to some capsule-based spacecraft. However, the most significant advantage Dream Chaser offers is its landing method. Instead of parachuting into the ocean or landing on airbags, Dream Chaser will touch down on a runway like a civil aircraft. This approach offers multiple benefits. For crewed missions, it provides a smoother and more controlled landing experience. For cargo missions, the gentle runway landing helps protect sensitive equipment for scientific samples. Additionally, landing on a runway enables immediate access by ground teams. This speeds up recovery, inspection, refurbishment, and turnaround times. Traditional capsules, which splash down far offshore, require extensive recovery operations that involve ships, helicopters, and long-distance travel. Dream Chaser also holds potential value beyond NASA. The vehicle is already being evaluated for national security applications, suggesting that military Military demand may grow once the system is fully validated. Looking further into the future, Dream Chaser could also serve commercial space stations once they enter operation. Its versatility makes it a strong candidate for a wide range of mission profiles. Overall, Dream Chaser stands at a rare moment where industry conditions, competitor weaknesses, and its own technical strengths intersect in its failure. Dream Chaser must continue demonstrating readiness, reliability, and performance. But this space plane will still need to overcome several significant challenges before it can claim a stable position in the market.
A major source of the delay comes from scheduling conflicts with its launch vehicle, ULA's Vulcan. Since Vulcan is also a new rocket in development, it has faced its own setbacks. Whenever Vulcan becomes available, it must be used immediately for its own certification milestones. This situation has repeatedly pushed Dream Chaser out of launch slots, even during periods when the space plane itself was ready to advance. For Dream Chaser to progress smoothly, Sierra Space will need to find a way to align its readiness schedule with Vulcan's availability or secure alternative paths that reduce the risk of further delays. Beyond scheduling challenges, Dream Chaser must demonstrate flawless performance during official missions. While its ground tests have been successful so far, the real measure of reliability begins only once the vehicle enters flight operations. Any significant issue could lead to a situation similar to Boeing's Starliner program, which has experienced years of setbacks due to failures during critical missions. If Dream Chaser encounters similar problems, its opportunity to compete meaningfully could quickly disappear, especially with the International Space Station nearing the final years of its operational life. The limited operational timeline of the ISS places even more pressure on Dream Chaser's schedule. The first two Dream Chaser vehicles are cargo variants, meaning that Sierra Space must accelerate development of the third vehicle, the first crew-rated prototype. If the company cannot bring a crew version online quickly enough, it risks losing the chance to support NASA's final phase of ISS missions. Competition will also remain a major consideration. While many rivals are struggling, SpaceX's Dragon continues to demonstrate exceptional reliability and consistency. Dragon's dominance creates a high benchmark that Dream Chaser must meet or exceed if it hopes to secure major contracts. To compete, Dream Chaser first prove that it is dependable. For now, Dream Chaser's path to its maiden flight remains uncertain. Sierra Space maintains confidence and the preparation work continues to show positive progress. But the challenges facing this space plane are substantial. Time is becoming increasingly limited, and that leaves fewer opportunities to correct mistakes. Its first flight will serve as the most critical demonstration of its capabilities. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.